Hey, this is Michael Forster with CodeCloud. Today, we're gonna to talk about DevOps in 2024, particularly around this summer. We're gonna look at what's new, what jobs are available, what are some you know money enhancers moves that you can make, like what's, what do you need to understand about money and what skills do you need? We're also gonna explore the exciting ways in which AI is revolutionizing the DevOps landscape. So let's get started. DevOps has come a long way in recent years. In 2024, it's all about speed, safety, and automation to eliminate repetitive tasks and deliver software better, faster, and higher quality. A report by Puppet Labs highlights that platform engineering and internal development platforms have become core concepts for DevOps teams, helping developers deliver code more efficiently and deploy code seamlessly. This report also reveals that many organizations are embracing a multi-cloud strategy, a multi-workload per cloud strategy, contributing to their success. Additionally, the core of DevOps engineering in 2024 focuses on several key concepts. Platform engineering obviously is gaining prominence with DevOps teams building standardized and automated software development, testing, and deployment environments. Automation remains a crucial concept in additional platform engineering. This, of course, is going to require DevOps engineers to be proficient in programming and scripting languages and testing tools and frameworks so that we can create repeatable and efficient processes. Multi-cloud strategies, as mentioned before, are gaining traction, demanding DevOps engineers to be skilled and knowledgeable in a variety of different platforms like AWS, Azure, GCP, Alibaba, Oracle, etc. CI CD or continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines and practices remain at the core of a DevOps engineer skill set, with engineers needing to set up and maintain pipelines for frequent and reliable code releases. Infrastructure as code is still yet another pivotal skill, and it allows DevOps engineers to manage and provision infrastructure through code, ensuring repeatability, scalability, and consistency. Monitoring and observability skills remain essential for DevOps engineers to proactively identify issues and optimize system performance. Additionally, security and compliance, the DevSecOps portion of DevOps, is actually becoming increasingly important. Not that it hasn't always been, but it's now going higher in prominence, where it's requiring DevOps engineers to embed security practices even more into their pipelines and into their development lifecycle. Soft skills like collaboration and communication and presentation remain high on the list and vital for fostering cultures of continuous improvement within cross-functional teams. And the DevOps job market is experiencing remarkable growth. As demand for DevOps professionals soars, the market is projected to reach an impressive 100 124 billion by 2028. This growth is fueled by the increasing adoption of cloud computing automation. Additionally, the global DevOps engineering market size is expected to grow from about 4.3 trillion in 2020 to about 12.2 trillion in 2026, with a compound annual growth rate of about 18.9%. DevOps engineers are in high demand. Companies are always actively seeking individuals with the right skills and the right experience. The number of DevOps job postings continues to rise, reflecting the industry's growing need for these professionals. Now, when it comes to specific industries that are hiring DevOps professionals, the banking and finance sector remain a significant employer of most DevOps engineers, although its share has slightly decreased due to adoption of automation. On the other hand, the telecom sector is experiencing substantial growth driven by emerging technologies such as 5G and IoT, which are still actually penetrating the market. Medical and life science sector is also seeing an increase in DevOps jobs, rising from 15% to 20% in 2024, primarily due to drug trials, research, and healthcare management, which is still ongoing in this post-COVID world. Now let's talk about compensation. Entry-level DevOps professionals are commanding higher salaries as companies seek individuals with the latest skills. Mid-career engineers, particularly those with three to six years of experience, are also enjoying significant raises as companies recognize their ability to deliver stability and and efficiency. The average annual salary for DevOps engineers as of July of 2024 is about $103,000, with the top 10% earning $134,000 or more in a mid-engineer role. So what essential skills do you need for DevOps in 2024? Opinions vary, but according to industry experts, a DevOps engineer should have a solid grasp of the following. First, Linux or Windows and the command line that goes with your operating system. Two, CI CD pipelines and understanding build servers and that whole process. Three, 
Scripting with languages, which don't include shell scripting like Bash and PowerShell, but primarily includes things like Rust, Go, Java, JavaScript, and some advanced programming if you're on the higher end of that. And the four is you have to know a configuration management tool. The most popular seems to be Ansible, but Chef and Puppet are still very strong and healthy and vibrant in the community. Number five is provisioning tools. Things like Terraform, where you can actually define code, or Open Tofu, where you can define templates as infrastructure. And then of course, tools like Packer, which allows you to build images so you can build a mutable infrastructure. Number six, monitoring and logging tools. This list would be way too long for me to list, but basically anything that enhances the logging and monitoring capabilities of your infrastructure, you're gonna want at least to know one of those tools, probably more to enhance your skill set. Number seven, Basic network and storage operations, in some cases that could get very advanced depending on what kind of DevOps engineer you are, but understanding basic operations and maybe understanding things like pure storage arrays or how EBS works on AWS are still absolutely essential for an engineer in 2024. Number eight, troubleshooting. So you still need to be able to troubleshoot, be methodical, understand root cause analysis, like incident management basically, but also understanding the basic methodology of how to troubleshoot and systematically isolate problems in these complex systems. That's number eight. Number nine, understanding the fundamentals of security and basic auditing. That's absolutely essential. No operations role can go without understanding costing and security that's always part of the whole thing, which leads into number 10, basic costing and forecasting. Like what does it cost to acquire a server, set it up, run it? You have to understand those pieces as well. Additionally, DevOps engineers may specialize in other things like cloud computing, Kubernetes and its entire ecosystem, and of course, platform engineering, which we've mentioned before, with its focus on developer experience and user experience. So. That might also be other advanced specializations that you need. GitOps could also be thrown in there, advanced infrastructure as code, advanced deployment strategies like A-B testing, blue-green deployments, canary. And of course, programming as code using tools like Crossplane and Pulumi may also be part of your specializations. I would say in 2024, by the way, you definitely need to know the fundamentals of containerization. So whether that's you know Docker, Podman, whatever your tool is, you're gonna need to know, at least understand the concepts of containerization and know how to package things from a Container standpoint. The 2024 DevOps report also emphasizes the importance of security, with about 88% of respondents considering it crucial for their success, particularly in multi-cloud environments. Let's talk about attrition rates and job security. The good news is, is that DevOps jobs are becoming more secure. Companies are making a concerted effort to retain their DevOps talent by providing better growth opportunities and fostering job satisfaction. DevOps engineers at all levels across these various reports are reporting that they're staying in their roles longer, indicating higher satisfaction and better prospects for career advancement as their main reasons for staying. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, AI. One of the most exciting developments in DevOps is the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning. There's this intersection now where AI is empowering DevOps teams to work more efficiently by allowing them to use generative AI to help automate mundane tasks, generate code. AI is acting as a force multiplier for professionals to focus on more complex challenges. The Cloud Native Computing Foundation has a groundbreaking project called CageGPT, which they initiated in December of 2023, which leverages AI to help simplify Kubernetes troubleshooting and discovery. So this is gonna now enable DevOps teams to use natural language to troubleshoot their clusters, maintain their applications inside of a Kubernetes cluster. AI is also making significant strides in other areas of DevOps. We're seeing improvements around intelligent automation, which we just you know recommended that from a troubleshooting standpoint. So you're seeing AI and ML being increasingly used throughout the DevOps pipeline, improving efficiency and reducing human error. We're seeing a lot of predictive analytics. So AI powered predictive analytics basically analyze vast amounts of data to identify anomalies and potential issues. This is happening in software development, logs, troubleshooting, data warehousing, all of it. This kind of leads in with number three, which is chat ops and AI powered chatbots. So we're seeing AI powered chatbots are basically integrating more and more with chat platforms like Slack so that they can provide real-time insights and assistance, automate routine tasks and facilitate collaboration among team members. Other ways in which AI are being injected is around continuous testing and of course AI-based test automation. So we're seeing test automation enhanced by basically allowing AI to generate test cases, predict potential issues, and optimize test coverage, particularly when it comes to code, but also with infrastructure as code. We're seeing other things like enhancements to things like AI agents or AI assisted coding, AI enhanced developer workflows, AI enhanced DevOps workflows, or seeing more and more emphasis on AI ops platforms. So how do you run these LLMs that are about to power the entire world, right? So looking ahead, the future of DevOps is both exciting and challenging. 
As AI and machine learning continues to integrate itself into routine tasks, DevOps professionals will need to tackle increasingly complex problems, and it will act as a force multiplier to help that happen. Platform engineering will play a crucial role in streamlining processes and reducing friction when it comes to developer deployments, and it's going to help foster collaboration and a product mindset between development teams and operations. A HashiCorp survey reveals that 92% of organizations are using platform teams in 2024. This is a 6% increase from 2022. So let's recap the key takeaways about DevOps in 2024. Number one, platform engineering. It's an emerging focus. If you don't know anything about it, you want to discover it because it's about to be one of the core evolutions of DevOps engineering. Two, the DevOps job market is experiencing rapid growth driven by cloud computing, the emergence of AI, and of course the increased ability and desire for automation. The market size is expected to reach about $12.2 trillion by 2026. Number three, the telecom, medical, and life sciences sectors are witnessing significant job growth when it has it relates to DevOps jobs. And before, DevOps salaries are on the rise, especially those with cutting edge skills and those who are kind of in the three to six year mark for their job. The average salary for those people is $103,000 with the top end approaching $134,000 a year. That's USD. Essential skills for DevOps include Linux, CI, CD, scripting and programming, configuration management, provisioning, monitoring, understanding basic networking and storage, having good troubleshooting methodology and understanding security and basic costing. Specializations run the gamut from cloud to platform engineering to GitOps to programming as code, as well as specialization in any of the CNCF products, particularly Kubernetes. DevOps jobs are of increased in security with professionals staying in their roles longer and enjoying better growth. And last but not least, AI and machine learning are penetrating almost every aspect of the IT world. In particular, they're acting as a force multiplier to allow DevOps engineers to tackle more complex tasks and to eliminate toil in the DevOps workspace. The future of DevOps is promising with AI taking on more tasks and platform engineering facilitating seamless collaboration between teams. DevOps is experiencing tremendous growth in 2024 with evolving job roles, the rise of platform engineering, the infusion of AI. So to thrive in this dynamic landscape, it's essential to get hands-on, stay updated with the latest tools, continuously develop new skills, and embrace emerging technologies and methodologies. Leveraging AI as part of your workflows and exploring AI tools like CaseGPT are going to be absolutely crucial for staying ahead of the curve of what's coming and maximizing the potential of being a DevOps engineer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let us know what you need in the comments. What do you think? Is this the necessary skill set for DevOps engineering? Is AI going to be one of the core skill sets as we emerge over the next five to 10 years? Until next time, keep innovating and have fun with your DevOps. By the way, for more in-depth insights, check out the full reports linked in the description below. We're including all of the reports from HashiCorp, Puppet, and et cetera, and we'll see you next time.